Hi, my name is Melinda and in this video I'm going to show you how to colorize this flower using different colors in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. Let's just say I had a layout and this was the perfect flower for it but the colors were all wrong because in my layout I needed an orange flower. Well, what I can easily do is I can color the petals orange, I can color the insides of the flower blue, and let's just say I want to keep this color and this color exactly the way that it is. Well, to do this you just left click on your image to select it, go to the top of the screen, click on the Photo Lab button, and when you're in Photo Lab, you want to go to the middle section here called Adjustments, left click on that once, and now move down the list and stop when you get to HSL. Left click on it once and it'll automatically go to the right hand side. Now over here you have a little icon and it looks like a mask. Left click on it once and then click on the word New Mask. Once you're in that area, you're going to notice that you now have the tool setting appear. Over here you've got your brush that will add, and over here you've got your brush that will remove in case you've added too much. Over here is the name of your current mask, and you can highlight this area, type in a new name, press enter on your keyboard, and that will change. Now, you've got your brush size, so you can easily increase the size by moving it to the right-hand side, decrease it by moving it to the left and of course you've got your grow tolerance. If it's at a higher number that means that more area around your brush is going to be removed and if it's at a low number of course less area around your brush will be removed. So for this image I basically want this whole area protected. So to do that I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button and start drawing and as you can see it's already done. As long as your mask is green it means that any effect you apply to it will only go into the mask area. Well, I actually don't want the effect to go into the mask area because I actually just want the effect to be on the petals. So first thing I do before I change this to a different setting is I'm going to go over here to Control Expand and I'm just going to click on this tab. When I do that, you can see that the area around my mask is not exactly going all the way where the black section is. So I'm going to pull this over to the right hand side until it sort of fills into the area that I want. And once it's done that, I now need to protect it. So go over to Mode, pull down this tab, and instead of using Select, you're going to click on Protect. Protect instantly makes your mask red and it tells the software that anything in your mask will not be affected by any effect you apply on top of it. Now once you've done that, all you need to do is click on the green check mark and now go back to your HSL and at the very bottom you can see the word colorize. There's a little box over here. Left click on it and it'll place a check mark inside. You'll see that the area here already starts to change color because we've got our hue, we've got our saturation, and we have our lightness. And all of these, the way that they're positioned, give you this color. Now in order to make this orange, I need to go over to my hue and I need to move the slider into the orange area. It's not exactly orange. That's perfectly fine because we have full control over how dark we want our orange to be or how light. First thing you do is you go to your saturation and you're just going to move this over to the right hand side if you want it to be more orange. Obviously if you don't want it that orange, you move it over to the left hand side. Over here is your lightness. You can move this over to the right hand side and it'll get a lot lighter. Move it over to the left hand side and it'll get darker. So basically just play with it until you find the orange color that you want to use. Once you've found it, all you need to do is click on OK. You get this box that says, would you like to commit filters in the trial zone? The answer is yes. When you do this, you'll notice that your photo lab now closes down and over here you have your flower exactly the orange color that you want. But that doesn't solve the problem of these little sections on the inside which I want to make blue. So what I'm going to do is click on this image to select it, go to the top of the screen, click on Tools, and then Convert to Bitmap. Leave everything the way that it is and make sure that there's a check mark in both boxes and click on OK. Give it a second and now you'll know that it's already been converted for you because you'll see your Photo Lab tab appear again. Next thing, you go back into Photo Lab, you go back over to Adjustments, you go back to HSL, and then you're going to left click on the symbol of the mask 
and click on New Mask. Now you can easily make this area bigger. If you have a wheel on your mouse, press it in and move it away from you. Or if you don't have a wheel on your mouse, you've got your zoom button at the top over here and your zoom out button over here. You also have a scroll bar that goes up and down and over here you also have a scroll bar that goes from left to right. I've already made my brush size a little bit too big so I'm just going to drop this down a tiny bit and I'm going to start drawing in this area just to sort of cover up all the sections over here. This time I do not want to protect it so I'm going to leave this as select and again I want to go over to my expand area now all you need to do is click on this check mark and then you go right back down over here. Make sure you place the check mark in Colorize. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see the full flower and I'm going to go over here to Blue and I'm just going to increase my saturation a little bit and then that's the perfect flower that I want. Now another thing that you could do is you could left click over here and you could do New From and then go to mask one and then try to make some adjustments. Personally though, I don't have much luck doing it that way if I'm using the exact same filter. If I'm using a different filter, it's okay, but the exact same filter, I always first have to apply my mask, color it, then convert to bitmap, and then bring it back into the software and color it again. Now all I need to do is click on OK and answer yes to this question. And now I have the flower exactly how I want it. So this was my original flower and this is my new flower. Now let me show you something else. Let's just delete these. If you have a frame, for example, drag your frame onto your page. When you do that, you'll notice that there's no Photo Lab button at the top of the screen because this is already a converted frame. In order to change this, you need to go to Tools at the top of the screen while your frame is selected, pull down the tab, and click on Convert to Bitmap. Leave everything the way that it is and make sure there's a check mark in both boxes. Click on OK, give it a second or two, and you'll now see your Photo Lab button appear. Click on it once, go back to Adjustments, Go to HSL and over here you want to left click on your mask, click on New Mask. Now all I'm going to do is make my brush size a little bit smaller and I'm going to go over this ribbon, just sort of draw into it. And now that I've done that, what I want to do is make sure that if I go over to Expand, I have my whole ribbon filled in. But I also want this to have a little bit of opacity. So I'm going to move the slider down until I can kind of see my ribbon underneath. And then I'm going to click on this check mark. Now all I need to do is go back over to this box, place a check mark inside of it, and now I can color this ribbon a different color. So for example, if I want this ribbon to maybe be, let's say a reddish color, I just play with these sliders, move this over here, Maybe make this a little bit darker, move this more into the red section. And now that I've done that, all I need to do is click on OK and answer yes to this question. Now if I drag this with its newly colored ribbon into this area, it's actually going to have the green ribbon because it hasn't really fully been applied to it. So again, I need to keep my image selected, go to the top of the screen, click on Tools, Convert to Bitmap, Leave everything the way that it is with the two check marks and click on OK. Give it a second to convert and now I can drag this into my frames. And now anytime I want to use it I can just pull it out. So I'm going to delete the original and I can now pull out my brand new frame and let's just pull out the other one so you can see the difference. We had a green one and we made it red. That's pretty much all you need to know in order to color change your images. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.